So guys, we are here. It's time for dinner. We're in an elevator, going downstairs. We're gonna walk to the Italian spot that we talked about. We are in our Thanksgiving fix. What's y'all thinking? Oh, wait, catch, get the shoes, darling, get the shoes. <laughs> what y'all thinking? How y'all feel? Yeah. So, we decided to get a little bit more dressed up than usual tonight. Just because, you know, it's Thanksgiving, it's, we're on vacation, so we're feeling good. And we're just gonna have a nice little tropical walk to the, the to the Italian spot. So let's go. So literally, it's just a couple steps away. The Italian restaurant is right in front of us, and we left from right there. Hey, where's my date? Oh, oh, wow. Okay, wow. All right, I like that. Oh, it's a spin, okay. All right guys, so this is what the Thanksgiving menu looks like. Salad, a soup, some entrees and the sides. Looks pretty good, I think. So we've got a pumpkin squash soup, some delicious bread, a salad, a wife, oh, all these delicious things. Wow. <laughs> all right guys, so this is the turkey. It's a grilled pork chop, some mac and cheese. We've got some jerk stuffing. We've got a snapper, some mac and cheese, I believe, there. Um, spinach, carrots, turkey, cranberry, jerk stuffing. We've got some gravy on the way, but that is the Thanksgiving dinner in Jamaica. I wouldn't say it's Jamaican, so I don't want to insult Jamaicans. But I will say that. I mean, it, you're in Jamaica eating American Thanksgiving food. But this is at a resort catered to Americans. So. Right, 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 right. This is a nice. American Jamaican ish <laughs> so, right. um, dinner. It looks okay. I'm ready to taste it. <laughs> okay. I'm, pre I'm pretty hungry, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna I'm taste actually good. Really hungry, so I'm, I'm, I'm just trying. Thanks. Let's see. What do you mean they've got no sweet potatoes here? They don't have sweet potatoes. Every time you order sweet potatoes in Jamaica, you got. Something. Nah, it was sweet potato tonight, for real. I ate it with sweet yeah, potato. So it wasn't the sweet potatoes I was last eating. night you I had it. i get it they're not the same type of sweet potatoes i get it but there was the sweet potatoes it's not was it's not their fault last night they gave you the cassava instead but what did i order listen you ordered sweet potato last night they gave you cassava tonight <laughs> nah they gave you sweet potato well this is pumpkin this is definitely pumpkin how about taste it actually tastes good, and I'm not a dessert person. It tastes good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there you have it, guys. Thanksgiving dinner.
Alright guys, so we are back in our room. We had a nice evening. It was a beautiful Thanksgiving. And before I end this vlog, I just wanna say happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family and maybe a few of your friends. And I hope that it was um, as beautiful as a 2020 Thanksgiving could be. Right. Um, I hope you enjoyed your dinner or the dinner that you ate of someone else's. I hope it was delicious. Um, our dinner was pretty, it was pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. It was pretty good. Um, we had low expectations. I will say the food here has not been amazing. Mm -hmm. So we we didn't expect it to be even decent. Sorry to say. Yeah. But um, it, it wasn't, was, it, it yeah. It was pretty decent. It was pretty decent. It wasn't bad. It wasn't, oh my gosh. Let yeah. me run. I can't. I, like I'm gonna be fantasizing about my Thanksgiving dinner no. a month from now. Yeah. No, it wasn't all that. But we ate everything, so right. that says a lot. Too. Exactly. <laughs> so guys, um, Rich and I, what are you what are you thankful for? You wanna end this vlog telling me what you're thankful for? Um, my family, where I am in life. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um. Like Richard said. All saying, my blessings, you know. I think, I'm thankful for I think for we're pretty family. blessed. I think we are extremely blessed. Yeah. You know, um, obviously there's room for improvement in every area of your life. Mm -hmm. But right now, I'm so grateful for my family, not just Richard and my daughters, but my, you know, my parents and my sisters and you know my cousins and you know I'm just and my aunt I, I'm just so grateful for the family that I have and I'm also grateful for my health yeah. you know I think for, we have a lot to be grateful for we have a lot to be thankful for I think 2020 has really showed you how yes we may be on vacation right now and we may be like going out during a are a pandemic but we also honestly I think it's important for um, a couple to have this time and I felt like if we took the proper precautions which we are you may see us in these vlogs without a mask but know that we weren't near anyone when we had our mask off we're probably like the safest people <laughs> on these vacations like yeah we really we don't do stuff if we feel like it's risky and right we in general the entire pandemic we have not been going anywhere anything that looks suspicious we just don't do it we, we haven't it. invited anyone into our home venus is the first person in to months. walk through our front doors in 10 months so we've yeah. really been very 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 you know so don't think that we are all of a sudden reckless we, reckless okay. and all of a sudden we just drop the ball because when we go back home we still are back to square one we also going to get tested as well before we got tested to come here we are going to get tested when we go home you know because we obviously we have two small children we also want to make think, make sure that everything is all good right so i think it's important for us to also get tested here but i think it gives me a little Oh, you see how small my finger. Very little. <laughs> Very little. Knowing that everyone that had to come here had to get tested, mm -hmm. I think that gives me a little bit of peace of mind. Right. Um, so, it does. You know, bit. not saying that. Oh, they could have. They could have went anywhere, and you know, yeah. God forbid. But the chances right. of them being positive is slimmer. Very slimmer. Yes. Very much slimmer. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Um, uh, somebody in the hallway. But Rich and I will be going to do for the rest of the night. It's our last night, guys. I have really enjoyed this vacation. We probably make one more vlog before we leave. And that'll be the vlog that, on the way out. Right. That'll be the vlog <laughs> on the way out. Um, but Rich and I have truly enjoyed our vacation, our alone time, our husband and wife time. A we lot of doing this. nothing. A lot of doing Laying nothing. Laying in bed like we did today for mad hours we just laid there right in we, silence. Need, we needed this time just for us you know we work so hard as a, as as parents as just individuals in general 
being and on social media his, keeping his, up with all these social medias that we it's do not easy y'all for youtube facebook instagram it's a lot of work that's a whole nother job that we take it is on. it really is a whole nother job that a lot of your favorite um youtubers or social media influencers a lot of them don't have the jobs that we have that we have to come home and still be a parent and still do these social media um you know social media i mean we don't parents. have to right. well, wait, wait wait let me take it back we don't have to do these things but it's a choice of us because we enjoy doing these yeah. things but it is let we me love tell you, the memory keeping right we love it but also keeping up with the social media is it's not as easy as, as as people think it is it's a, it's a lot of work. So if you are if you're if you're watching this vlog right now and you and you think that you want to go into YouTube and you want to go into being a social media influencer, I'm going to tell you guys right now the consistency and putting in the hard work for it and keeping up with your sponsors and your collabs, it's a lot of work, you know? And if you have a regular 9 to 5 job like us, um, keeping the balance mm -hmm. and being a parent, it's a lot. So I think Richard and I definitely deserve this time and I, I'm appreciative to, to my husband because he, I, all I said was, let me know when I gotta go. Let me know. She don't know nothing, guys. <laughs> like, she don't know. I don't like, know. I was like, we have to get tested on this day so we can have the results. I'm I can like, have I, it printed. I can have this printed out. I have to have this. I have to apply for the, um, the certification, the authorization form. Mm -hmm. She don't know nothing about any of that. All she knows is she going to Jamaica. <laughs> That's all I know. And I'm grateful to have a husband like that because I know a lot of wives do more of the work. But I'm grateful to have a husband that, that will put in the work and do all the homework for it and homework for the vacation. And I'm, I honestly, like, sound cliche, I'm like the man. I'm like, yo, let me know when my bag's gotta be packed. <laughs> Let I me mean, know when we leave or what times are flying. That's a lot, yeah. It's a lot because it's not just me. Even though we left the girls at home, I still had to prepare my kids and pack, not pack their clothes, but lay out their clothes. And I couldn't and, do that. You know, get them together, yeah. wash their hair, get them prepared, mentally prepare them. Every to house, was leaving. every house people, people take on jobs, you know what I'm saying? Right. So those are jobs you've taken on and things what I can be responsible for, I take responsibility for it. That's just <laughs> right. That's just how it goes. That's how a marriage should work. Where you you're dividing, you know? Yeah. And and it's not a hey listen, this is what you're gonna do. No 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 no. <laughs> that's not how that works. Right. You know? It's ex today is November twenty sixth. It's Thanksgiving Day and it's exactly um one month, I'll say one year. One month away from our third year wedding anniversary three years ago we got married and if you guys have not watched our wedding vlog please that would be a present to us go back and watch that vlog and i you know we came out here to celebrate early so we're here we have a sister because you have to work you have to work on our One, anniversary i have to work two my sister was coming in town so we're like you already got your flight book let's just go ahead and do it and yeah. um better early than not at all right right so we're going to continue to enjoy our anniversary tonight and we appreciate you guys watching all of our jamaica vlogs and you guys know what's coming up next is vlogmas um please stay tuned to all our vlogmas videos i hope that you guys watch every single one comment on every single one comment right. on all of our jamaica vlogs if you didn't watch one go back and watch some of our jamaica vlogs we really really appreciate all of your support all of your love all of all of your comments we really appreciate everything guys and um we hope that you have enjoyed our our vlog today and be sure to leave us a comment give us a thumbs up and until the next time guys continue to live rich and jazzy love, love.